Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another YouTube video. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I am really excited for today's video. I'm also a little bit apprehensive um, because I don't tend to do these videos all that often on my channel. So I know sometimes it can bring some new people to my channel um, or it might not be everyone's cup of tea. So I'm very excited to get into it. I am going to start by putting a little bit of a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. If you are not into luxury products, designer brands, um, that kind of thing, that's absolutely fine. But do not feel like you have to watch this video if it's gonna frustrate you, irritate you, or annoy you. Um, I like these kinds of things. I just wanted to treat myself and spend a little bit of money on um, these things, but I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. Everybody should be free to do what they want as long as they're not hurting anyone. So yeah, I get that this isn't gonna be everyone's kind of video, but if you are here, you are joining me. Hello, welcome, my name is Georgia May. Thank you so, so much for clicking on today's video. This is a little bit different for me. I have done a couple luxury handbag videos before, which I'll link below if you're interested in handbags or anything like that, um, and you just wanna like kind of binge watch some of those videos, I will link them below but this is a luxury haul and that is something I'm yet to do on this channel I have been purchasing a couple pieces lately that I did want to hop on here and just kind of share with you if a you're interested in looking at them b you're just interested in the brand or you want to know maybe why I purchased them um, or a little bit of a story behind them that is what this video is going to be if you're not already subscribed and you like my channel then please don't forget to go and hit subscribe check out some of my other content on here um, and if you are a returning subscriber then hello hi welcome back thanks for joining me and i guess let's just get straight on into the video oh before i forget if you're not following me on instagram i'd love it if you go and check me out over there um i upload a lot more regularly and a little bit more chatty on my insta so i'll leave that in the description if you do want to go and give me a follow on instagram but i don't really know where to start i think i'm going to start with we've got we've got a little bit of everything i've got a handbag to share with you guys i've got a piece of jewelry and i have a pair of shoes i'm going to start with the pair of shoes i'll leave timestamps in the description box if you're just interested in a particular item so if you're just interested in the handbag i'll leave a timestamp to when i start talking about that i'm going to start out with the pair of shoes this is my most recent purchase this i got um in flannels as we can see flannels is a store i don't think they have a lot of them in the uk um there is one that's like kind of recently opened up nearby me there used to be one in nottingham when i was at uni in Notts, but i never went in there because a i didn't have the money i was a student and b um it's a very intimidating store and everyone talks about this a lot online this whole like you know feeling awkward when you go into one of these luxury stores or like places like that and I'm always like really I've never really had that experience until recently I went into flannels and oh I'm not gonna lie guys I did not have the best experience but I really really have wanted these shoes since the beginning of this year I'll tell you about the experience let's just show you the shoes first before I bore you so I will just show you guys the shoes um and then I'll get into the whole story drama fiasco if you're interested. These are a pair of Balenciagas. They're a pair of triple S's. I do already own a pair of triple S's. Someone actually DM'd me on Instagram. And they were like, don't you already own some of those trainers? Yes, I do. I do already own a pair. But these are very different. They're a different colour. So we have that. Also, I wear these trainers so much. I know they've been around for a while. So I appreciate that they're you know older now some people think they're like not as like in style or popular but that's not why i buy things i buy things because i like them i buy things because i like the look of them not necessarily what's like in if you will and i love triple s's if you are wondering so i got these from flannels they do come in the balenciaga box i'll show you guys how they come hope you can see this you get a little dust bags for your shoes which is very handy if ever you go traveling and these are just very handy in general so this is what this one looks like Actually, I wonder if you get two or if you just get one. I can't remember. Sorry, everyone. Okay, so this is what the trainers look like. Let's just get them out of the box. With the colorway that I already have of these trainers, I will pop on the screen right now. They are white and kind of like a blue color. I got them years ago. Um, and I really wanted like the classic white, but I thought everyone had them. So I wanted something a little bit different. So I went for like the white and blue and I do love them. But sometimes they're a bit awkward because they're white and blue. These, however are beautiful so these yes like i said are the triple s's by balenciaga they do loads of different styles of trainer but for me this is my favorite style i am five foot seven so it does add quite a lot of height to me as well as weight which i will come on to but i still love this trainer 
and I've had some people ask me whether or not I think they're worth the money. If you wear trainers as much as I do, which for someone that has like quite a girly style, I guess I wear trainers so much, they're definitely worth it. I live in this style of shoe. One thing I would say, just bear in mind, is the weight on these. They are weighty trainers. Like I wouldn't recommend wearing them if you're gonna be walking for hours because honestly, your feet will ache so, so much. But I just, I fell in love with these when I first saw them. So I first saw them when I was in Venice. Um, and the colourway is beautiful. They're like this really nice beigey colour. Almost like a rosy pink beigey tone. They are the jelly ones. So they have this kind of like clear bit at the bottom of the shoe. Just say Balenciaga there. And then something very interesting. The number on the end of the shoe is the, your shoe size. So that is on the end of the shoe. If you're looking at going for these shoes, I would say potentially size down. I think I could do with a 38 and a half, but obviously they don't come in half sizes. So I go for the 39. Um, but yeah, I would recommend trying them on in two different sizes if you're gonna be able to go into a store versus ordering them online. This is them. I love them. I blooming love them. I think they're really, really cute. They're definitely my style. The color is just dreamy and it goes with everything in my wardrobe. They are ugly shoes. I get it, guys. Some of you are gonna be watching this gonna be like, why did you spend that kind of money on those ugly flipping shoes i get it i feel you but i really i have a special place for them in my heart the ugly trainer hype it's a bit of me really really happy with them this is what i bought so yeah any questions you have on triple s's that you don't think i've answered please just drop me a comment below and i'll be happy to answer you guys if you are thinking of buying them um the only thing i will say is you know with bags i feel like i can take really good care of my bags and look after them shoes are a little bit different you know they are gonna see wear and tear a lot more heavy heavily than say a handbag will um just personally but in my like motto of life I buy things to wear them, not to sit on the shelf and collect dust. I know some people, that's why they like to buy things. But for me, like, I want to wear them. I want to, like, make memories in them. That's why I bought them. That's why I spent the money. Do you know what I mean? So I love them. I'm really, really excited to wear them. However, when I went into the flannel store, it definitely wasn't the most pleasurable experience. Um, I definitely had the whole, like, up and down, up and down. Can you really afford anything in here? Kind of atmosphere which i think we all know what that atmosphere is like i even like tried the shoes on i was kind of like looking in the mirror like you know just kind of like deciding it's bloody expensive and she was like so you're gonna buy them or are you not gonna buy them and i was like what give me a minute honey yeah they were a little bit rude in there if i'm perfectly honest everyone was quite rude no one was very helpful um so i don't know if i'd buy from flannels again maybe like online but i probably wouldn't go into a store and buy from them again so that is the trainer um if anyone has any questions that i don't feel like i've answered just shoot me a message below next up i'm gonna go on to gucci 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 um so a little bit of a let's talk about gucci i'm trying to think i love some gucci bags and i hate some gucci bags personally i'm not a fan of anything that's like overly in your face i'm personally not a fan of the bags that they did where they had all the like badges on and like the um like gold and embellishment like it's just a personal preference so i never really lately i haven't really shopped in gucci that much however this bag i saw ages ago and i loved it ages ago um but i was never gonna buy it i just didn't have the money at the time for a new handbag and i kind of left it and it's definitely more of like a bag that you don't wear all the time and at that point i wanted to only buy handbags that i knew i was going to wear like every single day like an everyday bag so like my louis bum bag or um my ysl college bag those are bags that i wear all the time 24 7 whereas this is definitely more of an evening bag let me show it to you and then we can talk about it so it came with a really nice ribbon obviously i've taken that off here's a little gucci box that it came in and then it comes in a dust bag so you get a really nice little dust bag which i I always recommend either storing your bags in these, traveling with your bags in these, or stuffing the bag with the dust bag to keep the shape of the bag. Um, this is what it looks like. So yeah, I don't know if any of you guys are gonna expect this. It's definitely more subtle from Gucci, but I really like that. It is a white bag. It's a white bag. 
let's talk about that for a minute I'll, I'll show you the bag and we'll talk about what i think of it so this is what it looks like i believe this is the dionysus but it's like the wallet on the chain version so it's way bigger than i thought like when i saw it online i always imagined this to be really really quite small but guys it's actually quite roomy so this is what it looks like on the inside you have a really nice lining and so many compartments for cards so it's it is kind of more of like that wallet on a chain type feel but you have so much room in here honestly i've been using this bag when i was away and i think it's fab actually they also do this bag in black which is beautiful as well and i can imagine so practical yeah i was kind of definitely after a cream or light bag and i was definitely after something more for the evenings that was something that i feel like i'm kind of lacking in my handbags is kind of like nice evening bags and i thought this was absolutely beautiful obviously it has this really really nice chain and then it has this um kind of crystal design here is it going to focus on the bag? There we go. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh, I'm really happy with it. I really, really love it. Um, it is something that I have been looking at a lot online, but I didn't know whether or not I was going to kind of bite the bullet and purchase the bag. And I absolutely adore this bag from Gucci. I love a lot of the Gucci bags, actually. I, well, I like a lot of the like kind of more traditional ones. Like I love the... Um, gucci canvas kind of printed bag my mom has that in the larger size i think that's really lovely as well um but i just knew that for the evenings and it's white and if you've been following me for a while or you've been watching this channel for a while you guys will know anything in white or cream is just something i gravitate towards and the nice thing is about this handbag is it's also going to go with colored outfits so i knew it was going to go with a lot in my wardrobe i'm super happy about it i did also look into purchasing the wire cell it's like a little cream um bag i'll pop a photo on the screen right now i really really love that bag as well um but i don't know something about this i just love the structure and the shape and the kind of like envelope style to it i fell in love and that was why that's why i went for it i'm gonna talk about one thing which someone has asked me about on instagram and that is transfer so this is the back of the bag this is what it's looking like right now when i've used this bag a handful of times Someone mentioned to me, and I have heard about this and read about this online, this bag, apparently, I'm yet to experience it, but I have heard that this happens, transfers on the back of the bag. So what that means is if you wear this with like dark skinny jeans or blue denim or something like that, sometimes the ink of those things will transfer on the back of this bag because it's very very light that is something that does really worry me and concern me especially because i like my bags to look nice um so it is a bit worrying however i am honestly wearing this bag with mostly whites and like floaty things cotton things that sort of type of outfit i am yet to wear this with anything that's dark or will transfer i'm sure at some point i will but i am yet to experience that at the moment I would bear that in mind if that's something that's going to obviously really put you off. Um, I've read about that online. It hasn't happened to me yet. I'm very wary about what I wear with this handbag, which is a little bit frustrating, but I just wanted to make you guys aware. I'm super happy with it. Again, if you have any questions on this particular handbag or anything you think that maybe I could help you with, I don't know why I'm literally not that much of an expert, but feel free to ask me below um because gucci is an interesting one some of their bags i really enjoy some for me are just a little bit too kind of garish so that is the little handbag that i treated myself to by the way if anyone's wondering wow george you've really gone on a shopping spree yes i really have this was also as like little gifts to myself when we hit 100k i had a few things in mind that i really really wanted to kind of get my hands on and then it all kind of happened at once i don't normally do this. this is not how i normally shop this is definitely a treat for me um but i wanted to kind of like remember this year and i know 2020 has been interesting for a lot of people and not the best year but i wanted to just like you know turn that on its head the final thing i want to share with you guys is the most expensive purchase that i've made it's the most expensive purchase that i've made ever in my life <laughs> yes on like a materialistic item like not a car or a house or something like that and that is something from cartier so yeah let's just talk about it for a minute this particular item i have wanted for years i've loved it lusted over it wanted it for years um and never gone and purchased it until very very recently you get a couple questions on my watch this is my cartier watch this was a gift is this gonna focus I don't think it wants to focus that's really annoying this is actually a gift i didn't purchase this for myself so um adore this love it but it's a very very special gift it has a lot of 
like sentimental value to it i know i'll have it for the rest of my life that's that this i wanted to purchase for myself um which seems kind of ironic because it's a love bracelet and the idea is that like your boyfriend or your husband buys this for you and like you know it never comes off i bought this for myself i really like the bracelet i mean screw that independent woman over here and all that so i actually went for the thinner one and um, this comes in a slightly thicker um bracelet design i actually went for the thinner one it is quite thin as you guys can see and i also went for the gold i know a lot of you're going to be like what you wear so much silver i wear a lot of different metals together so yes my watch is silver my rings are silver this um necklace that i have has a gold ring on it and then it's a silver chain this is a gold necklace i personally mix metals a lot and i do also love gold jewelry just as much as i do love silver so i kind of go between the two but i knew for the bracelet that i really really wanted to get the gold now i don't have any other bracelets on at the moment but this pairs so nicely with little thin chains and other little bracelets um and i just think it's something i'm gonna have literally for the rest of my life i never plan on taking it off it does come with a little screwdriver so this is the little travel pouch and i keep the screwdriver in here um so that's what that looks like and this is just the little gold screwdriver which looks like that i love the thicker one as well but for me personally the price jump is quite a lot between the thinner one and the thicker one and also i just prefer thinner and daintier kind of jewelry so i knew for me the thinner one was actually the one that i preferred they do this in gold they do it in white gold and they do it in rose gold leave um if you are interested or if you're just wondering and yeah it was expensive it was a lot of money i know i know for me, jewellery is very sentimental. I love jewellery. Um, I look at it as like maybe a little bit of an investment. This is a brand that is like timeless, classic. I love Cartier personally. I know some people are like more into Rolex or whatever kind of floats your boat. But yeah, I, I'm i so happy that I bought it. Um, I had a really nice experience in there and the lady was absolutely lovely. You do also get when you purchase it, obviously your receipt, you get a box, all of that stuff, a bag, everything. Um, but you also get a little certificate it's quite cute and it just kind of is good if ever you did want to like i guess sell it on or you needed to prove the authenticity obviously make sure you have the certificate that was one of the most crazy purchases of my life but i'm really really happy with it and i absolutely adore it um and every time i look down i just think of like i don't know like youtube and 100k and that was kind of why i purchased it it was like something to remember this year by um for the good things not just the crazy year if you will definitely on the pricey side of life i felt very bougie with this red bag like who do i think i am yes. Ooh. honestly and when i was in flannels i definitely had my pretty woman moment when i marched back into the store and bought the shoes even though i think they thought i was never gonna buy them um so that was quite funny so many of you on instagram were like go back in there and have your julia roberts moment and i was like yes i love that kind of attitude so that was quite funny but yeah that is all of the luxury purchases i have made over the last couple of months and all of the luxury purchases that i intend to make for this year she says we all know i have a shopping addiction um but yeah that's what i intend to make for this year for 2020 it has definitely been a great year um for me work-wise and job-wise and i just wanted to treat myself so yeah i hope nobody is offended by any of the things i chose to purchase if you have any questions obviously feel free to leave them below um thank you guys so much for watching hope you're all having a fabulous day wherever you are whatever you're up to don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed loads of content coming on this channel over the next couple of weeks so keep your eyes peeled for that thanks for the love and the support as always and i will see you guys in my next video bye